<sighs> oh, nothing like a good night's sleep that I've had while fully dressed, stood near the end of my bed. Not because it's the best approximation of being in this bed I can do, but because that's how it's completely normal to do. Cotton! What have I told you about watching me in my sleep? This is not the first time- You wanna know some Durambaros facts? <sighs> I, if I say no, you're still just gonna talk over me and tell me Durambaros fact. Durambaros is a brute wyvern. Yeah, okay, everybody knows that. Like, can I have at least some interesting Durambaros fact? Feeds trees. Yeah, I, we know that too. That's common Durambaros knowledge. His lumps act as an energy source. I don't think you actually like Durambaros very much. He has babies. I mean, most monsters have babies. This is what his baby oh. looks like. Okay, yes, very cute. Probably good meat, lean, tender. Did you know that they're passive? I mean, they're not that quite aggressively defend their territory. No, they're only aggressive if provoked. Yeah, but they get provoked by being near them, so... No, they don't. That's not more accurate. Oh, okay. Yeah, sorry, my bad. Who, who knows about Durambaros? Hey, I've got a Durambaros fact for you. Tell me. He's the only brute wiper not in the fifth gen. Cotton? Cotton, it's okay. No, Cotton. Cotton, it's okay. Please. No, I'm sorry. I I just I didn't I didn't Buddy I oh, Well that reminds me of when he first met Durambaros. Rambaros Ambaros Baros One small we're in the void of remembering This is a void for remembering things yeah, It's a void Like Jason Void you <laughs> Is that a person? I was trying to do Jason Voorhees. You're like stabby man, but it didn't really didn't really work out. Might have worked better if you didn't say void you. <laughs> <laughs> Look, the point is, we're back on the Generations Ultimate Reliving Journey, and you two can be part of this similar such journeys live with us on voice talking back and forth if uh, you wish to support us on Patreon down below. Obviously, no pressure. It does let and us to keep pay doing. for Josh's vocabulary lessons. And to pay for my vocabulary lessons. Yes, it's very important. Otherwise, I start slipping. <laughs> it is un ungodly appreciated, but of course not necessary. But what is necessary is having a little look at when Cotton met Durambaros, which is our new sitcom we're workshopping. It's, it's not very long. It's the lowest quality fish texture I've ever seen. I know, right? I mean, yeah. It is the lowest quality fish texture I've ever seen. Yeah, it's a lot of corners on it. You can barely tell it's a fish. It's like a Monster Hunter 2 weapon in Monster Hunter 4, am I right? Uh, 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 uh. Right? It matches how shitty he is as a person. Oh! <laughs> Oh. This was when you really, really didn't like Plessio. I wonder why that is. Cuts back to last time. Hey, do you like him now, right? I think he's probably the best fish. Oh. That's a big spider! That's a big spider! Oh, it's the spider episode! Oh, it's the spider! This is when you were staying with me for a little bit. And you have, you had a big spider. <laughs> Yeah, it's actually just my pet tarantula and I didn't let it wander into you. Without telling me too, it was crazy. A few moments later. There it is. What? <laughs> <laughs> I love that you were genuinely scared when you saw it. It's, yeah. like, it's like, there's a spider and you're just like, oh, oh my god, you weren't lying. It's massive. Oh, like look at that thing. Jesus. <laughs> Like, I'm not there to kill it. I just wanted to show you the big spider I found. Fucking massive! Oh! <laughs> what are we doing? I'm looking at a spider, you know. You gotta spin. Amazing. Just, you know, check out the spider. Beyblade Championship! I, I could not possibly guess what that means. Sailor suited gal! Did I raise the bitch on your voice for that? No. I feel like I did. It sounds a bit breaky roboty. Uh, that might have just been how I was those days. Oh, breaky roboty. Sailor yeah. suited gal! Like, it doesn't. Sailor suited gal! I feel like gal is one of those words that gets less and less meaning the more you say it. But it's also just like, this is the worst Sailor Moon member. Like, Sailor Jupiter, Sailor Mars, <laughs> Sailor suited gal. <laughs> Just on the sidelines in a normal sailor's outfit. It's like, it's the temp. <laughs> Wait, a friend of mine who rings gongs for a living. Oh yeah, the gong, the living gong dude. Oh. He was an out, what a guy. He gets paid to ring gongs, man. That's a pretty good living. <laughs> and that's a gong noise in case you were unsure yeah, of a gong. You don't know what a gong is. <laughs> Press.
embarrassed by this job. I just want I that would job. go to so many parties and have so much small talk. <laughs> <laughs> Man, I really wish I was invited to parties, but I don't <laughs> ring gongs for a living. I need to ring gongs or I'm not cool enough to go to party. <laughs> what do you what do you do for a living? I ring gongs. <laughs> What, what, like... Wait, wait, what? You know, big metal discs that make it... No, I know what a gong is, but, like... <laughs> I was curious, and the closest thing I found to professional gong hitting was golfers trying to smack I mean, I'll be real with you. A professional a gong lake. hitter is just one roll of a percussionist. Like yeah, that's true. Okay. <laughs> what is it? What? What? Why are you still... I think I'm still on gongs. I'm gonna ask you a life-affirming question. <laughs> If when when you get a buffalo, yeah, and then you get a camel, okay, force them to breed. I haven't done that, but what? I can imagine the trouble it would take. It is quite difficult, you know. You need to apply a lot of pressure. It's like trying to get a square in a circle hole. <laughs> well, you know, we're in a force. Let's not read too much into that. It's a nice day out on a Sunday, you know, and then you inject inject the resulting offspring with a bit of Ankylosaurus DNA. Because of course, that will change it. Yeah. You know, classic radioactive spider type thing. Just a bit of bit of cheeky Ankylosaurus DNA. It's a little bit. Question, do you know what an Ankylosaurus is? Dinosaur? Yeah, obviously, but specific. Has ankles? Yes, it's the dinosaur that's named after its ankles. Big ankles. Any any other distinctive feature you wanna, you wanna give me? It's got any? like a weird head or something. It's got like a weird head or something. I think I'm right. Does it have spikes? It's got nobules. It's got a big club tail. Low to the ground herbivore, big club tail, armored shell back. I mean, the reason I ask is because if I recall correctly, you didn't know it here either. And I wanted to know if in the five years you've expanded your repertoire of dinosaur knowledge. Or at least remembered me about to share it with you here in this moment. I mean, I know what it is. It doesn't mean I remember the weird names that dinosaurs have. I don't, I don't know what that is. Spike. Okay. It would have been really good if, if past you had been like, oh yes, I know it well. It's my favorite dinosaur. I do believe you're about to describe it as having spikes, which you said no to me before so well i think some of them have si like spikes on the club tail but like they've got like a back a knobby back shell he squat dinosaur so there that's an ankylosaurus and <laughs> why did you laugh at it i think it's funny like why did i describe describe the basic features of this dinosaur and you're like <laughs> i don't know I, i'm not four years ago me <laughs> uh the, the question then with that context all right on a scale of one c to ten c's uh how thick how is it thick do you how did you know that that's the only thing that you scale with c's no but it could be like 10 cc's of this substance stat you know that that kind of yeah but but that's but you know on a scale of one to ten c's that's not it's like i need i need c c c c c c of that stat also known as a really enthusiastic spaniard i could say that because I'm, I'm, i could say I'm, that because i lived in spain <laughs> i'd say a good seven or eight you went for the eight there. Really, I went for the generous side. Oh, that we just spent a minute building up to me being able to write thick on the screen with eight C's. Oh, yeah. You were ready for it. <laughs> I, I, I wish I could see your mental image of what you think we're about to fight based on that conversation. Well, honestly, now I just can't stop thinking of a fat camel. <laughs> Of a what? Fat camel. Uh, that's making you laugh that much. It's a really, really fat camel, apparently. It's a normal camel, but it's it's a bit podgy. No, it's not a normal camel. Sorry, how fat are we talking for this camel? Well, on a scale of one to ten C's, seven or eight. <laughs> An eight C thick camel. <laughs> Honestly, right now, I just need to Google image a picture of a fat camel. So I did. <laughs> oh, that's not fat. That's just a big camel. That is a big camel. Well, it's an interesting thing for a camel to be fat, too, because, like, their main thing is the humps are, like, they store resources so that they don't need to eat as much when they're in the desert. No, the humps are for water storage, not, not fat or food storage. That's why camels in zoos tend to have floppy humps, because they don't have a need to hold on to water, because they get looked after. But they should hold on to water still. What, in case all the zookeepers die? Well, yeah, just in case. Oh. Oh, oh, here we go! All right, Cotton. Mr. Cotton Man. Yeah? What doth thou think... Thy first reaction to what is now your favorite monster of all time, B. Damn, he's cool? If you literally say, damn, he's cool, I am going to be so seriously impressed. Ah, <laughs> oh, this is a special moment for you, man. It's like if we'd caught my first time seeing Bracky Dios on camera, weirdly, back then, many years ago, before, before I did Monster videos. Yeah, and your first reaction was probably, I'm using a great sword! <laughs> <laughs> what is happening? I think I'm observing him. What is going on? I'm just observing. I'm taking it all in. This is really anticlimactic. I don't remember it being this anticlimactic. Maybe I'm dead. The spider is taking control. <laughs> yeah, the like, oh, this is a great game. Oh. No, no, ah. he killed him with his rod. Oh. 
I see. That was so perfectly timed to his roar as well. Oh, no! Oh, no! How did this happen? Oh! <laughs> oh, I see how this happened. Yeah, we were on the same internet. That makes sense. Oh, I see how this happened. <laughs> well, my initial reaction is, why the fuck is it a brute wyvern? Oh! Yeah, it should be on four legs. Did this romanticized monster hunter relationship to be start rocky? We about to uncover the true dark secret to the start of Duramboros love affair. I'll, I'll, I'll be real with you. My first thought upon seeing him is probably that thing should be on four legs, not two. This is confusing until he starts spinning, in which case it fixes everything. <laughs> Yep. Two extra legs. Look at him and his hair. So what? I gotta cut in. It's now while while editing. Why did I say look at him and his hair? Oh yeah! <laughs> if I recall correctly, I'm about to treat you to some sexy hair drama. By the way, I, I I need to point this out. Er, er, earlier we were talking about the Ankylosaurus, and then after we finished describing it, I wasn't sure if it was going to be shown on the screen, so I I did Google it. And one thing I find interesting about the Google page for Ankylosaurus is it specifically says the words eaten by Tyrannosaurus. No, it's very specific. This one in particular. Like, it sounds like there was one Ankylosaurus and it was <laughs> yeah. eaten by one Tyrannosaurus and that's the whole description that we know. Why did I say hair? Look at him and his hair! Bonjour. <laughs> that's some hair. Oh! Oh! He's like a fucking walking mountain! Why are you now excited? Because I'm seeing it's him like properly. He's got four different tails coming off of his tail. Oh! Yep. <laughs> <That's awesome. laughs> yep, there we go. That's all it takes. Yeah, it took one of the first fly. It just gets better. Do you think you'll ever be beaten as your favorite monster? I mean, it's possible. They've been doing some very good monsters, but they'd have to hit the specific things that I like in monsters, too. Is anything that's new in Rise and Sun Break in your top five? Rakhne Kadaki is, is either on the edge or just in five. Love this his fucking tail weighs. It's like, oh shit. Oh shit. It does look a bit accidental when he throws himself with his tail. Yeah, it's like he's just spinning and then it's, oh no. <laughs> oh no, I've gone too far. <laughs> I'm going for a ride. <laughs> so this is Duramboros. Oh, that's a cool name. I really love him. Oh. <laughs> Apparently you really love that's him. That's all we're getting of that train of thought. Here we go! Here we go! Here it is! Oh, shut up! Don't play the music! I want to know what I said! What was that zoom in? But he's a Beyblade. This is what his face looks like while he's spinning. Face blade. <laughs> I think it's safe to say you enjoyed this experience. You can also hear like a slight echo on my laughing because I'm in a room made of glass. <laughs> that just sounds like you went crazy, but you were literally in a room made of glass. <laughs> <laughs> something else, I, I, know. Lo I, I love that like his face just looked so blissful during that. Yeah, he's just like, yeah! Like, I am in a state of utter peace. <laughs> Where is grass? <laughs> what? I don't know where grass is. Where is grass, cotton? Grass on ground where grow. <laughs> he's so just nice. No, he's just a, he's, he's a herbivore, man. He's he's one of the one of the big herbivores. Yeah, he looks he like just, he just wants to be left alone. Yeah, cause like he he looks he looks like he looks like Papa Slagtoff to me. Papa Slagtoff, the Slagdrome. Oh. <laughs> Oh, the Slagtoff Drome. Maybe that is what we should have been calling him. <laughs> Look at my moves. <laughs> Come on. Come on. That was so funny. Moves. Yeah, cow joke. Yeah, exactly. I didn't even get it on the second back watch. It's because it's subtle, you know, best type of humor. Also, the two things of notes on the screen. Yeah. Firstly, my hunter's pose is very cool right now. Yeah, I think you're just climbing something. Yeah, I know, but it's like this, like, yeah, word. Two, Duramboros's thigh with the green bit makes me want a hunter's arm. In. Oh, I can get behind that. I mean, I just want to grab onto him, so. I'm going to do it. I'm going to boop him on the snoot. Did it? No! How could you? Look out! Oh. <laughs> he pooped you on the snoot and no. the rest of your. Oh, God! He pooped me on the everything. <laughs>
<laughs> he does just look so like, what is life? He really does look like he's not all there while he's fighting. Yeah, <laughs> he's just like, cool, I threw myself in the air. Yeah, he's not fighting you, he's just doing acrobatics. <laughs> it's one of the least like aggressive, threatening looking, at least facially monsters. I love it. Batman, who am I? Why am I here? What's my purpose in life? <laughs> what do I mean by who am I? Okay, okay, calm down, calm down, get a grip now. Ooh, this is an interesting sensation. <laughs> I like that comparison. <laughs> Credit to me, that is the most perfect Durambaros comparison voice, is it not? I like that. <laughs> <laughs> it's like the most peaceful monster I've seen. <laughs> He's so calm as we kill him. I love it. <laughs> He's so big, though, ain't he? Like he's he, he's fucking massive. So, was was, was are you still happy with your answer of seven C's? <laughs> yeah, but I think he's a bit more than that. It's okay, just stand up. I go by you. Oh, right. <laughs> 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 oh my god! And uh, what? He stopped and then carried on. He knew. <laughs> you little furry chunky bastard. Well played, sir. Oh, here we go. I, I think that this thing in his legs, like he's full on leaning forward and he can't counteract the, 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 the directional force of his tail. <laughs> <laughs> That was cool. <laughs> yes. Sorry, I lost myself there. Let me do a pirouette. <laughs> He's just so happy. I feel like you've really like found a kindred spirit in this monster. This is the expression I'm getting. He's just enjoying swinging around his big clubby tail. <laughs> it just, it just, it's like there's nothing negative I have to say about him. Oh my god. Oh. Oh, I'm so sorry. Why would you KO him? So I could pet him! <laughs> yeah. That's not how you pet animals, man! Oh, your dog is so cute. Can I pet him? Yeah, of course you can. Why are you holding Bonk. a hammer? Because <laughs> what? I no reason in particular. Pet conscious animals. You monster! They 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 might bite me. Ah, for fuck's sake! <laughs> okay, it's just the Rathian. I thought I was gonna have to leave the zone again. Still though, why Rathian? No! You're nowhere near it. That was such a good Mario pain noise. <laughs> that was like amazingly impressive. I'm practicing. It was cool. No, not at all. Also, she instantly gots you. Gots you? She instantly gots you. All right, do you feel gotted? Because you should feel gotted. She didn't though. Yeah, this is going to be one of those moments where on my screen it was Durambaros, and on your screen it was Rathian, and you're going to show it being Rathian to make it sound like I'm not telling the truth. I don't know, man. I don't know. I think you were just trying to get away with one here. Uh-huh. You've made NPH sad, and that's 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 very much a crime. Also, she instantly got you. She didn't, though. 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 <laughs> you filthy, lying son of a gun, Cotton! You try to tell me that was anything but that charge. On your screen, it was that charge, yeah. Oh yeah, so on your screen, you were being killed by the magical invisible monster god. Yeah, the Durambaros that is standing directly on top of me. <laughs> I mean, actually, if you do back it up, blood comes out of me, but I don't actually get <laughs> flinched or anything. <laughs> Whatever you say, man. The point is, you lie to me over and over about not being killed. It hurts yeah, at a certain yeah. point. You need to stop doing that. <laughs> Oh. This is so awesome! <laughs> <laughs> I don't wanna be here! Oh. I completely forgot you could just stand next to his feet while he's spinning and it just no, doesn't matter. No, it's one of my favorite parts! It's like, it, there's like a barrier to entry where his tail is, but once you get past it, it's just, yeah, you can just hang out with him. Look at that face. I spun too much. So now, now I want to, I want to loop back to the gong ringer that wants to model the gong style off this. Well, guy. was it? Didn't it say something like, mo like the the motions of the gong she swings? She wants to model her gong ringing movements off Durambaros. Yeah, that's fair, cause you like. So you... she's gonna like hold the big, like big puffy stick, and just spin and spin and spin, and then at the, at the climax of the rotation. 
Well, yeah, because it's just... Part of playing a gong isn't literally just hitting it. You can also just, like, rub the percussive mallet, like, on the gong. So I think it's more that. All right, gong nerd. I just I just think that that actually makes sense now that I think back on it. Oh, well, you're weird. Why do you even know about <laughs> gongs? Because you're totally a loser. Because <laughs> gongs are cool. So that's the hardest hit. You get the maximum moten momentum swing. Motentum. 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 You cannot leave the village, Motentum. I can't stop! No! <laughs> that was amazing! That was genuinely like an amazingly funny word occurrence. Why did I not just say sentence? Oh, I can't stop! <laughs> <laughs> Look, we did have highs to balance the lows, all right? <laughs> there is no stopping me once I start! <laughs> I'm just imagining tribal juggernaut! I'm thinking Zoolander. <laughs> yeah. I can't turn left. It's like, yeah. I cannot stop. <laughs> just wooden helmet and everything. <laughs> oh. he's so, he just looks so oh. happy! Why do I keep doing this? <laughs> oh, he's so good! He is, <laughs> he is pretty darn dash fantastic. Darn dash fantastic? Darn dot dash fantastic. It's Morse code. <laughs> that was like the most like sensual <laughs> noise of pain I've yeah. ever heard. Oh, Dramaros. You hurt me oh, so good, baby. Good. Oh, that is on the internet. Yep, it is. Oh, Thankfully, nobody tail. remembers it. Please stop it. Oh, no, we don't need a safe word. <laughs> that is also on the internet. Look at the Ambrose's face in response to that. He <laughs> like, nice, nah, that's my favorite. The safe word is... <laughs> the safe word is a girl hitting a gong in the background. <laughs> it's all coming together. <laughs> no! <laughs> okay. I just love how, like, gracefully he soars through the air. It's just so majestic. He is! It looks so silly slow-mo. Well, as I often say about him, a creature that big has no business moving the way he does. I don't know and I love it. Oh! I thought it took him a bit to grow on me. What changed? When did it change? Uh, I understood the fact that he doesn't, that he's a nerd before, so he just eats the trees, so it, it just, it all leans into his whole peaceful giant nature. And the fact that I, I just got to see his face more as he spun and just the smiley face. Like, he never at any point in the fight does he stop smiling. <laughs> I think if, uh, the best way to explain it is, like, if I were to describe myself as a Monster Hunter monster, I think he's the is best he your one. spirit monster? Ah! Yes, he's my spirit monster. <laughs> your spirit monster! We found your spirit monster! <laughs> Go! No, I am not Ariel style! Don't force your choices on me! <laughs> <laughs> We need to get him mounted at some point! <laughs> I'm just trying to get us more damaging opportunities! By cancelling your damaging opportunities! And making different ones. Ow! <laughs> this is not the fucking- Law of equivalent exchange. Damn it. <laughs> yes it is! Look out! God, it really is tense when he's above you like Yeah, that. you don't know the way he's landing because you can't see his angle. And I, the expression to me is very much like... To me, it's just, I don't care if I got them. That was fun. <laughs> Look out. Cow. Oh, yeah. Like, if I had to choose between burgers and bacon, it's bacon. So. But, like, bacon is a burger topping. <laughs> bacon is versatile. What kind of sad world do you live in where bacon exists only to adorn burgers? So is beef. <laughs> Beef is also versatile, yeah? Beef is versatile, man. You went wrong. There would be no more tacos. Look, I should be hunting. <laughs> There'd be no more tacos without beef. <laughs> Why is that what you went to? I feel like this conversation started with like a question of if you could only have one, but, but we just cut that out. <laughs> so it's just us talking about bacon and, and beef. You sounded so like passionate, like, but no more tacos, man! You wouldn't be able to have tacos anymore. What about, like, pork tacos or chicken tacos? It doesn't count. You, because you're the monster! No more steak? Steak sucks! What? <laughs> I don't know you! <laughs> you're, you are not a meat connoisseur! That Maybe you just had shitty steaks. No, but I just... I'm I stand by that, meat. yeah. <laughs> then why do you care about either meat? Because <laughs> if I had to choose... 
That's what I'm choosing. Wait, leave the meat to the people who care about it. Look, all right, you're not a meat gatekeeper. Hey, 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 Josh. What? You know what else cows make? Cheese. <laughs> cheese is great. I didn't realize you're this passionate about meat. meat. Meat's great. All right. No, you said you'd rather pig than cow! I'd rather give up beef than pork, alright? I still am all for drinking udder secretion. What, what would what would you call it if if a cow like got rid of all of their milk at the same time? I don't what? Know. what utter secretion. It? it would be utter, utter secretion. Yeah, what do you think of that? I don't know that one's... I don't know what to say. Well, then I guess we should move on. I don't... I... <laughs> you the exact same reaction. Yeah. I, I, I thought you meant what would happen if, in like a weird cosmic oh, event, like, like, Thanos, <laughs> like Thanos, the cow's yeah, milk. like Thanos <laughs> clicked his fingers, but he, he accidentally got distracted <laughs> at the last second, <laughs> and instead of deleting half the universe, he deleted all the milk from out the universe. <laughs> oh, it's like he's about to snap, and then he just sees it. He just so much. He's like, <laughs> want a glass of milk, Thanos? He's just like, milk snap. <laughs> Like, it's just that last little moment of, what was my favorite drink again? Oh, shit. It's not the fact that the cows don't have the milk. It's just the thought of Thanos just getting distracted, making this yeah. universe-altering decision yeah. in this one moment. It's just, milk? Well, there goes the milk. Someone's just like, got milk? And he's just like, no. <laughs> I think there might be a kill coming I up. I think there might be. It could be seven minutes from now now. Who knows? Wow! That was, that was really quick. I just killed him by hopping and side-slapping his tail. Oh! I slapped his tail thrice and then he he's died. He's so big! So dead. Oh my god, he's the best monster house. <laughs> he's oh yeah. Better. He's Look at this! Zam tree. Oh, Giant actually, tunnel. No, it's quite nice. I like the decor. He's yeah, got multiple like rooms. It, it feels like you're. It is very well done. It's tastefully done. It's a Duram Bros. He's got. He's got. Look at that bay window. Duram Sacrum. Duram Sacrum. What the hell is a Sacrum? You don't want to know. <laughs> it does. It's. It's the, got a strong theme to it. That's where he keeps his rum. The grass growing through the floor. Yeah. <laughs> the shoulder. Why is the shoulder just so big? No, it's just. The... How do you feel about Duram Bros. Armor? I like it. I think it could be better, but I'm a fan. See, I have the issue where I, I bracket the Osama, I could take it or leak, leak it, which I could yeah. take it or leak it. No, don't leak it. Capcom will be mad. <laughs> hey, guys, I'll tell you when you got this. But this is what bracket the Osama looks like. <laughs> Put his horn on his shoulder. Just one, though. <laughs> and then, then, then go to the gunner version. Gunner version. What is the other shoulder? <laughs> they just swap the shoulders. <laughs> That'll do. Like, the eyes are wide, the mouth's open, he's on no! the ah! <laughs> I'm melting! See, that's all well and good, but it's just this... this no context. Yeah, it's just yeah. this concept of, and now for the cat furnace bit. <laughs> Thank you. All right. So we like literally, like it just went to that, and now we're on the next monster. And that's it. Yeah, we are. They're always pretty cool. We're pretty cool. They're pretty cool. They're pretty cool, aren't they, Cotton? Run. This guy is the uh, OG flying invader before Basil Geuss. Well, that's an interesting way to play. Now I know he's flying. Oh no! Oh god! I've ruined well, I mean, everything. It, I mean, it, 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 it's, it gives me somewhat of an idea of what he looks like. All right, describe like, him oh, in your head. Pine cones. No, out loud, so I can hear. <laughs> <laughs> I still can't quite get past momentum. <laughs> momentum, no, don't leave the video. <laughs> it's dangerous out there. <laughs> but father, I cannot stop now that I have started moving. <laughs> I can't deal with how just stuff like subtly funny that was, and we just moved <laughs> right past it. <laughs> oh, always. Oh, it's a crab. It, it's a it's a flying crab. Surprise. Hey, I'd be cool with that. That would be a great yeah, I would monster. totally love a flag to grab wings. What are you saying? It's flag to grab wings. Right, got you. <laughs> what? Don't. Just what? don't. Don't. Don't, don't. He's, he's here, okay? So you just don't worry about that. <laughs> oh, Seregios was with Durambaros for oh, some reason. Yeah, that's a explainable coincidence. So that explains why this episode is called Mountain of Blades. Yeah, okay. What I like is that the only monster name I put in the title was Seregios and not Durambaros. Seems a bit mean. Okay. I'll stop <laughs> uh, gotta love small monster do you think? <laughs> so it's like it fell over. Sorry, the sands, you know how it is. Sorry about why, that. Why, did you just slip? Or... <laughs> he is the wyvern of a thousand blades. You just keep falling over. No, it's just really hard to move <laughs> in this in this temperature. Oh god, I think he sets through rock! 
Quick! Ooh. 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 Yeah. This, look his scales it. look nice. This is Terekios. <laughs> Hello there. Oh! That is the Rock of Star Wars references. Yes, it is. It is the Rock That's of Star Wars hello. references. <laughs> what? That's cool. His nickname is Panko. I think it was pretty clear. <laughs> and his other other nickname is Steve. Why? <laughs> Ask not why. Simply call him Steve, Cotton. He actually does remind me quite a decent amount of Basil Geese saying. I really thought you were going to say he actually does look like a Steve now that you mentioned he it. He does look like a Steve. Yeah, yeah. I've known a few Steves that look like that. That's... I thought you were going to say, no, he actually does look like a Steve. Oh, for God's sake. You gotta hold back. Why have we not changed? I, I don't know. Yeah, so... Well, I, I mean, also that. Like, what? who do you know? Did they have, like, sharp scales around their face? Yeah, good old Steve. I love, I, <laughs> he, he really does look like a pine cone when he, like, yeah. implies his face. Yeah. That's really good. So he, he, like, frills out and then <laughs> fires... <laughs> Thank you. Oh, wow. <laughs> I, I just walked up a bit closer to his face. He's like, he's got like a raptor face. He looks really good. Yeah, he's very agile. He can outfly Rathalos in the air. That's pr that, I mean, that's pretty impressive considering he's like the king of the air and shit. Yeah, yeah, exactly. No, he king of the air. King of the air and shit. That's his official title. Rathalos, <laughs> king of the air and shit. Ooh, he's got like the, uh, the, 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 the leg, the feet. What I don't know what they're called, but I'll tell you that he's got them. <laughs> he's got, um, feet. That's it. He's got feet. He's got those uh, leg things at the end of the leg stuff. Psychodactyl. Is <laughs> what you're, uh, what you're, what you're gunning for here. Bless you. What do you call those? Yes, he's got like the two prong, the four prong feet. Yeah, the parrot feet for grippy grasp graspers. Yeah, the parrot he feet. Picks up a lot of stuff. You also seem to be confused. Flying wyverns in that regard. I'm glad you know us. Well done. Fuck this shit. <laughs> oh, he's doing, he's doing a Sergios to you. Oh, I love his pin. Didn't he lose this pin in Sunbreak? I think so, but I like that we were talking about his feet, and now he's just shoving them in my face. <laughs> yeah. You mean these ones? Yeah! Fuck him up! Help me! Yeah! Hello, my baby! Hello, my <laughs> Why did it go on for so long? I don't know. <laughs> hey guys, look at Cotton being beaten into the ground by this Seregia. Isn't this fun? Fuck you, man! How's it feel? <laughs> I don't like being danced on! <laughs> Why is he such a good tap dancer? He's just like got you underneath it. What? What was he's a good tap dancer. Let's move on. He seems pretty nice. Like he seems like a monster that I wouldn't mind. Like he's not like he's not like completely like holy shit that's fucking crazy. But I think he's really cool. No 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 no! I no. don't know. He's gonna die. What are we doing? I'm just like, I'm panicking. You're just having dramatic flashbacks to the last time you were pinned. Yeah, so he definitely <laughs> hit me with a grab, but then decided not to actually do the rest. Yeah, he just. I, I think he just landed in the wrong place. God damn it, Seregia! I was bleeding over there going. He is very agile and large. Ooh, wow, that's a cool attack. Okay. That was not an angle I expected him to hit me from. Oh, he likes all the angles. He's an angled man. Yeah. He's a five star angled man. An angle mania. Oh, and. Oh. And. Uh, well, no, I'll take that. I'll take that. No, 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 no. Okay. Ow, ow, ow. You okay over there? Why do they like Oh, Valor Great Saw really is impactful. It's a cool guys, gameplay but... style. No. Do you have scales? No. <laughs> oh, I just heard my character's voice there for just a moment. Even you. There's a hammer something the oh, yeah! <laughs> What is this? What is the Cephalos pose I've achieved? I think he's just, you know, he's just being sucked back into the ether. <laughs> yeah, he's about to get taken off screen by a trek beam. He's trying to flap out of it. That makes one of us. Look, believe in yourself. Have you not heard the- Oh, please don't tell me about to reference Bloody Arthur. Arthur, theme song, it's the place to start. Ah, oh, I hate, I hate the show. Then why do you reference it? I hate that show so much. See? <laughs> <laughs> I'm glad that's consistent. See, what I've noticed is that in the world rewatches, this doesn't happen that much, but in the GU yeah. rewatches, it happens constantly. We must yeah. have peaked early in GU and just run with it for four years. Yeah, I, I think so, yeah, yeah. The thing about Arthur is, like, the, the world is just, like, worlds where people are different things and it actually has an impact on the world is, is interesting. They're aardvarks, but they're still just fucking humans. <laughs> yeah! <laughs> like, there's no reason for them to be aardvarks, they just are aardvarks. Of all the animals to enter from our pies and make a world of, Aardvarks. Like, they don't even look like aardvarks anymore. Like, did the producers just get an alphabetical book of animals and just choose the first option? Well, there's two A's in that one. That's how we get to the front of the TV manual. <laughs>
main character is a humanoid talking aardvark. Who goes, AARDVARKS ARE THE ANIMAL- Oh, for God's <laughs> sake! Why do we even add anything? We should just sit here and silently watch them and just do the intro and outro. Yeah, I think that works. Animal for the people! Fuck Arthur! Maybe the creator <laughs> of the show was an aardvark furry. <laughs> That's specific. Why, it's a self-insert fanfic. Where are you going? Up, 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 up. I don't want up, him to go up. Up, up, up. And away! He's just a very sharp <laughs> violin. Honestly. I don't know. He doesn't seem that smart to me. <laughs> oh, 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 so that said, when he hits me, it does smart. Oh! Are you okay? I just thought it was a good joke. Two wrongs to not make a right. Why are you making this noise? Because I thought it was a good joke and I knew you wouldn't like it, so I just wanted to to really emphasize it. <laughs> really emphasize it. Are you being banished into the shadow realm for that or what? <laughs> Worth it! Oh, oh. It's alright, then let me back <laughs> after. Oh. Why are you so hard to get rid of? I've Why been asking myself that for five fish? years. I know. Ow! Fuck sake, Seregios! I'm looking at the fish corpses! It's probably from the Absaros! But they're what? herbivores. Maybe one of them wanted to try one. <laughs> Guys, what yep. is... What is no, that. no, not, not grass. What rule is there for herbivores to say <laughs> like, that they've as never a species, actually tried? We you know? generally don't eat certain yeah. things, but that doesn't mean that people don't try but it. there's like, four of them! We to be fair, a lot of herbivores in real life do every now and then eat meat. Like, if meat is in front of you, you'd still try it. Well, there's a video of a cow just eating a baby chick just randomly. I mean, it's fair enough. Cows do what they want. They do what they want. Probably had some great tasting cheese. Well, maybe one of them just decided that he eats fish. But each one has a bite out of and that's it. So it's like they kept trying and then forgetting that they didn't like it. Well, maybe he tried one and was like, oh, I don't really like that. You want to try that, Frank? Oh, well, yeah, I guess I'll give it a go. Oh, no. Bill? Oh, God, no. <laughs> just a round of Absaros trying meat. I'm gonna get me some Seregios tail. Oh, oh, I actually guys. did. <laughs> My Who does that? <laughs> like, really? That's Ooh. why humans don't have tails, bitch. Sleep protection. <laughs> so that people can't cut them off. Exactly. What? That's why humans don't have tails. It's the only reason. Yeah. Learned that lesson from Ooh. Dragon Ball. Took a lot out well, of We also though. just did, don't need them did, to, did, to not have a tail. To not have a tail, yeah. Really, huh? Foupois! Oh. Foupois. Oh! Yeah. You gotta hit him. Oh no, I might have fucked it up! No! I'm good, I'm good. <laughs> yes! Oh, the mount killed him! I don't think it was the mount that killed him. I think it was me hitting him. Nothing. If you are the one. Classic. Worst. Classic. Oh, I've disconnected here. Well, you heard it here for- <laughs> Oh yeah! Fuck it! Then I had to go and kill Seregios by myself, and I was pissed off because he was pretty much dead. Yeah, I remember that. This was- we were having issues this day. Yeah, it was a rough day for the internet. We still did it. Look at him. Like a lost lamb, forever cursed to run at this rock until he withers away a husk. Hey! <laughs> <laughs> you can't just come back like that! I Jesus! <laughs> I was making fun of your husky body! What? My finished what? screen is me falling off him from the mount because he died as I completed it! It's just me and him like, ah, oh, together. <laughs> Do one go. Ooh. Yeah. That's that pretty cool. I beat exploit and focus. What a cool, cool set of skills. I believe that's your your armor, not not Serechios. Well, I didn't say it was Serechios' skills. I just said it's a cool set of skills. Okay, you're just bragging about your skills? Yeah, just bragging about my skills. <laughs> <laughs> I like that I gave you a happy face hammer as well. Head on a stick. I'm here. Why are you vibrating? <laughs> cool! <laughs> I think you have a head massager next to your mic. Do your thing! Oh, okay, it really confused me because I'm standing here by myself and you just said do your thing and I'm like, you can't see me do a thing! <laughs> Perform, monkey! <laughs> Seregios, good sharp boy. Good sharp and boy. Durham Boris! That, you butchered that. Oh. Yeah, that was... Oh my god. Oh, thick! Awesome! <laughs> He's peaceful! Thick! Awesome! Awesome. You stand by that. Those are the only words required. Well, thick! Awesome! Them's my words to live by! <laughs> Sounds like yogurt branding. Peaceful. Thick. Awesome. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 
Alright guys, thank you very much for watching. We'll be back very soon. Like if you enjoyed this, subscribe for more. Also, why are the T's in cotton so curvy? <laughs> they have very curvy T's. Well, they? I mean, stand-in looks like it's partially all caps because the N is just a big lowercase N. <laughs> <laughs> oh god. Wait, wait, go back! I need to see the, the letters again. So the, the N in stand is capitalized. The second N is not, but it's big. <laughs> like, it's clearly just a different N. Well, there you go, everybody. That is when Cotton met Duramboros. Oh, so good. I think the sitcom's got legs. Well, I mean, at least the two that he has and the two that I have. All right, everybody. Like if you enjoyed this, subscribe, hit the bell for more. Consider supporting the future of the channel on Patreon down below. And until we meet again... A good boy. Goodbye. Josh, Cotton, and Hollow with the videos. Dropping the humor like a hammer on your tippy toes. Bringing entertainment on a daily arrangement to take our insanity and turn it into entertainment. Yes, I said entertainment twice. To reiterate that it is nice. To look into your faces on a mostly daily basis when you let us in your homes to make the whole world a stage. Is. Uh. Goodbye.